on the other hand, both uh, Fuad and Qalb has more than one meaning. So even if they're synonymous, which meaning is intended here? And according to the translation, Alon Iqbal has quoted it to the heart. Uh, but Abdul Halim's translation, he translates it as mind. And that's because in Arabic language, Qalb, for example, and heart, they can mean physiological heart. Or, for example, Qalb has three meanings in Arabic language. At least three meanings. Uh, Qalb can mean physiological heart. Right? Heart of our body. But Qalb also mean al -aql. And it is used in Quran in the sense of physiological heart as well as in the sense of al -aql. And al -aql shouldn't be really uh, translated as reason or mind in what should be more, should be translated more, more as center of consciousness. And the third meaning of Qalb in Arabic language is, I think, uh, Al-Khalis, Al-Khalis, essence. Essence of something is also known as Qalb. So that, that sort of, um, we have that sentence in English as well, too, you know, to get to the heart of the matter or something like that. And I, I guess in, even in English, heart uh, is used in all these three meanings as well, like heart as a reason or central consciousness or heart as, because we talk about reason, reason of, reasons of heart, for example. So Qalb here, here is used in three senses, as a physiological heart, as Aql, or center of consciousness, and number three, essence. Similarly, Fuad. Since the ayah here uses Fuad, by Fuad we can mean heart, physiological heart. Fuad can also mean, as uh, Abdul Halim translates, it's mind. But I would say that in this context, what, and I'll give my reason in a minute, what Fuad is being used for is understanding. And the difference between Fuad and Kalb in this, in this uh, regard is that Fuad is more understanding, uh, almost at least, uh, you know, almost in Kantian sense. On the other hand, Qalb is more like reason. And that's why I call center of consciousness in the center. So both uh, Qalb and Fuad are uh, of reason, but they are different uh, levels of reason. So the level of reason which Fuad is, is what understanding is. Um, what we call understanding in this. You know, sort of roughly Kantian sense. And Qalb is more like um, what Kant, uh, not limited to, but what, you know, Kant calls, Kant calls reason. Like reason as a center of consciousness. And beyond understanding. Uh, and above understanding. Um, so both Fuad and Qalb are reasons, but different types of reason. In certain contexts, so in this context, it seems like by far that what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying is understanding. And why do I say that? I say that because in the ayah, the Quran mentions was uh, let's go back to the ayah. So the Quran mentions um, He gave you hearing, yeah. He gave you hearing and then seeing and then heart. What? So wa jalla lakum sama wa So with hearing and so these are sense perception. So they provide us information. And qalb here is understanding in the sense that it uh, organizes that information and categorizes that information. So. And that's why I would say that Fuad here means specifically understanding it in a more in, in, in more or less content sense, uh, the sense of categorization, the sense of uh, organization of the information. So Quran says, um, Sama. Sama. Um, and a Sama here is meant, as Yuti says, or Jalaluddin Mahali says, rather. Uh, or Suyuti, I'm not sure which part. The first half is Suyuti and the second half is Mahali, but this looks like the second half. Um, yeah, Sajjah is second half. Um, so Mahali says, Jalal bin Mahali, Rahmatullahi, wa ja'ala lakum sama wa la bsara. Wa ja'ala lakum sama, he created for you a sum, hearing. Al asma'a, bimana as sum, bimana al asma'a. Wa la bsara, eyes and Yes, uh, according to Jalal bin Mahali. So, and then God says, Walafila, which is translated by Halimi, uh, the Halimi mind. So, eyes and ears, we are getting information from them. So, and then suddenly, uh, uh, straight away after that, God mentions Walafila. And that tells us that these two are the vehicle of. It's not working. So, these are providing us information through sense perception, and this is then organizing those that information. So that, in, that tells me that we should take mind here in a specific sense of understanding. 
more or less, they're all consistent, so far this way. Okay.